So once that's done installing, we'll have to configure it. So what I often do is I go into PowerShell and I'll open up as an admin PowerShell and I will often reset IS by typing in IS reset. And while that is occurring, let me put this aside here. Waiting for to restart. Once that has started, I will go back to Server Manager under Tools. You'll notice there is a IES Information Manager 6.0. I'm going to select that. And you'll see the SMTP has been installed. But it has not started, so I am going to highlight that and start the server. Now I'm going to right click and open up Properties and 90% of the time what you have to configure is simply the going to the delivery tab advanced and putting in simply a host which is the actual SMTP server keep in mind what you've installed here is not really the SMTP server but actually an SMTP relay now now in my experience 90% of the time all you have to do is put in the host and you're all set however uh, let's double check certain aspects of this so I am going to go into my PowerShell again type in WF for the firewall and make sure you have port 25 open so if I search here and scrolling down just making sure you have port 25 open so that's port 25 and it is open and also so for me my mail server actually is not on port 25 so you'll notice I've set up a SMTP and I've added 25 and 587 so 587 is actually my server port here so the other aspects that I have to configure is the outbound connection where I have to put in 587 and keep in mind this is just particular to my configuration but if your mail server you're connecting to has a different port than the default 20, port 25 SMTP port 25 you'll have to put that in here and also my mail server requires authentication so I am going to put that in also. Cowboy at gmail com code cowboy org, and I will be typing in my password. Now, oftentimes, what ends up happening is you will have to also configure the permissions so under the access tab click relay and instead of only the list below you have to select all except the list below and I am gonna click OK so now that I have my access restriction set up I want to test the sending of an actual email so I am gonna go into my SMTP client here so I ha I'll have a link in the description area where you could download an SMTP client where you could test out the connection so I'm gonna go ahead and download my client that I wrote and this does require framework 3.5 so you might have to install .NET framework 3.5 and I'm gonna go in here run the application and it will ask me if I really want to run it because it doesn't recognize the exe I'm going to type uh, click more info here and run anyway and I'll bring up my test SMTP test mail client and I am going to put in port 25 so keep in mind this is to connect to the SMTP relay server I just installed so I do not need authentication whereas when I was configuring my relay server to connect to an SMTP that delivers I needed authentication 
So my SMTP server that I just installed actually does run on the default port 25. And I will be testing out an email. And test, and I will be hitting send. And you'll notice the email has been sent. Now, let me show you some of the issues you might run into. So that email was sent. However, if I go back into properties and I reconfigure the relay to what the default value was, notice the error that I'll get. Now when I hit send, you'll see I got this email. I, I mean, I got this error message. So if you get this error message, what you would like to do is once again, configure the relay restrictions, going to access, relay, and select all except the below. Now oftentimes in production I would like to restrict certain IP addresses that can connect to my mail server, so keep that in mind, that might be an option you may also want to do. In which case you will have to put in the local 127, 127 allow the 127.0 and also the server IP address itself. In this case, I will not be configuring that because I've selected all except the list below, which has nothing. So I'm going to click OK here, apply. And once again, when I hit send, it works. Now the other aspect you might need here is, for example, I will change the SMTP so that it cannot contact my SMTP server. Now it will still say it's sent because it doesn't know any better. However, I will not actually receive the email. Now to debug that, for example, you can go into C colon where the SMTP server is installed, INET pub, go into the mail route and click on any one of these so you'll see it might be in the queue so this was undeliverable because the SMTP so if your SMTP relay server can't connect to an SMTP server you your queue here will fill up and you'll see a lot of EML files so for example if I open this up here you'll notice delivery failed but it's still in the queue and it's going to keep on retrying and this is the email that I was trying to send you'll notice my test here and the subject line so that is a way to debug this is by reading those those uh, email headers now if you go to the bad email folder you'll notice this is also labeled as bad, I can open it up in a text editor and also see the same thing in previous emails that I was not able to deliver so you see test 2 for example so that is uh, several ways to debug it but uh, for the most part if you follow the instructions that I have should be fine now uh, once again, I, I would like to emphasize some of the configuration parameters. So in my experience, 90% of the time, all you'll have to do is configure the relay restrictions. And also under delivery, in a corporate environment, lots of times internally, all you have to do is configure the smart host here. Um, and 90% of the time, that is all that's required. Um, in other cases, you'll have to you know, configure the port. Normally this is the default port 25 and also the security. The security here, so you might need authentication, but in most cases, in most corporate environments, it is simply anonymous. Um, but that's really it. That's what I wanted to mention. And uh, keep in mind, I will have these links in the description area where you could download my uh, simple SMTP test client where you could test out your installation after you have installed it. Uh, but that's really it, and uh, please subscribe if you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.